Hello everyone! Today we're going to make a liquid density tower. This will teach us about density. Ooh, I love this density. It's so cool. Okay, put it in very slowly. It floats! There's a lot that floats. Let's go! The supplies you'll need for this activity glass vase, honey, corn syrup, maple syrup, whole milk, dish soap, water, vegetable oil, rubbing alcohol, lamp oil, mixing cups, turkey baster, food coloring, bolt, popcorn kernel, dye, cherry tomato, bead, soda bottle cap, ping pong ball, dry erase board, dry erase marker. Come on you guys. Do you know what we're gonna make today? What? What? We're gonna make something called a liquid density tower. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Put your goggles on. We're gonna be mad scientists. <laughs> <laughs> to begin making your liquid density tower, first measure out equal parts of all nine liquid ingredients. Don't forget to add some food coloring to the water and rubbing alcohol to make the colors pop. Okay, first we're gonna use the honey and we're gonna use all these materials. We're gonna layer them all the way up in this this glass jar, okay? But we're gonna have to use the same amount. You know why we're putting them in this order? Why? why? because we're learning about density and what do you think each one of these things has um, that are different? Uh, I think we're going that this in this order. The, I think this is the heaviest, so we'll go straight to the bottom. Let's see. This one's a little lighter than the honey, so we'll float on top. Then carefully pour the first three layers, the honey, the corn syrup, and then the maple syrup. Can you measure some honey in there? Yep. Make sure you stay at 8 ounces. Okay. All right, that's good, my fine. I think that's good. What can you tell between the difference? It took, how long did it take you to pour, McLean? It took me like three minutes. <laughs> it took you a little longer, didn't it? All right, let's try pouring them in our tower, okay? Okay. We're gonna try right in the middle so that we don't get it on the sides. If you wanna scrape the rest of it out, you can get a little bit more out. Time for some corn syrup. And try corn to pour it just slowly right to down. the middle. See if we can, slower. This looks so cool. Can you see it separating, Reese? Yeah. It will separate. Look at my creation! <laughs> For the milk and the other ingredients, carefully use a turkey baster and squeeze it lightly against the side of the container. This way, each layer layers neatly on top. So with the milk, then we're gonna do same measurement, eight ounces. Just squeeze it and then put it going the straight baster? down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, when you squeeze it, squeeze it down the side. Like, down the side? Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze it where it runs down the side, because we're good. Yeah, like that. Liquid dish soap. You're a messy scientist. Haha. <laughs> All science has messy bits. Will it mix in with the milk we just did? I don't know, let's see. What do you think? I think it will. Do you think the dish soap is more dense than the milk? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! I would have thought the dish soap was more dense than the milk, wouldn't you? You can see yeah, it going down from the milk. Ooh, I love this density. It's so cool. Now with water, remember we want to make it colorful, so what color should we make the water? <gasps> blue! Oh, can I make it blue? Sure. Okay. Just right, how many blue. drops do you think we need? Two. Let's try. Wow! Ooh, this is going to be great. It's very dark. It's kind of mixing with the yellow, but it looks really cool. But you can see it going up from the milk. It's like, okay. I think that if we just let it sit there for quite a while, then it will go back up to the very top. Density can be a really hard concept for kids to understand. That's why building a tower like this is a great hands-on experiment to help them kind of understand what it means. Would yeah. you have thought that vegetable oil was less dense than water or milk? I would, I pretty much thought that this would be at the bottom besides honey and this would the water would be on the top because water is very light less dense okay, what color are we gonna do for this red oh wow that was okay okay so let's oh that's fun look at it you can see it well, yeah so we know this one can, we don't have to be as careful because it looks like it's hopping down and then separating pretty pretty immediate oh look at this in the middle, it looks like a rainbow. And now you've got a liquid density tower. I can see all nine layers. Can you? No, I can Some see of them blended. Yeah, but and what does that tell us if they blended? That then it was a kind of a little bit. That weird. those densities were very similar. <laughs> <laughs> Want to take this activity to the next level? Try taking small objects from around your house and dropping them in the container. 
Even make your own predictions and see where they land. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some items in there and we're gonna see where they go, okay? So over here is our chart. You see our prediction chart? Yep. We're gonna try to predict where each part is gonna go. Okay, so first we have a bolt. Feel it, is it heavy or light? It's kind of heavy and it's really hard. Hard and heavy, a metal. Which level do you think the bolt is gonna go to? You think it's gonna go to the honey, uh -huh. okay? So you said honey. Ren, where do you think it's gonna go? Water. Water, okay, mm -hmm. that would be here. You think it's gonna go to the water. I think it's going to fall to the milk. I think it's gonna to go to the syrup. You think, which syrup? The Corn syrup, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Okay, you wanna drop it in very gently, because it is metal. We don't want the glass it's to break, so let's see what it does. Honey. Put it right in the middle. You think it's gonna to go to the honey? Oh goodness, it where'd it go? The it went to the syrup. No, it went it to looks the like it went to the very bottom. The very okay, so that was not as hard as these items. This is the one we're gonna do next. What does it feel like? Don't drop it. It's so heavy because it's so soft. It's so soft and smooth and small? Mm -hmm. Where's this popcorn kernel gonna go? I think it's gonna mm. go to the lamp oil. I think it's gonna go I to the soap. I think it's going okay, to so the Okay, so Reese says lamp oil. Take the popcorn kernel and can you drop it in there? Drop it right down. Where's it gonna go? <gasps> Where'd it go? It's in the black. Oh, we can't see it. It's hiding. It's, it's in the half in the milk and it's half in the maple syrup. Wow. Isn't that cool? Making predictions is a great way to boost your child's learning. They can take what they've learned and then make educated guesses and predict where they think the object will fall. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is the die. It feels hard and light. It feels light? Okay, where do you think it's gonna fall? Do you think it's as heavy as the bolt? Right to the front? Oh, look at all those levels. I see it, it's right there. Reese, where do you think that tomato's gonna go? I think it's gonna go in the vegetable. In the vegetable oil, okay. It's right there, I can see it. It's right there on the dish soap. What's the next item, McLean? Can you read it on the board? It's a bead. A bead. It's really light and it's really hard. Let's see where a bead falls. It floats. It floats oh, all wow. the way up. Um, Why do you think it floats all the way to the top? That, oh, it's very, very light. Did you notice something about the bead? It has a hole in it. It has a hole in it. So what does that mean? So that means it has to stay up in the air. Well, there's some air maybe in there and it's keeping it afloat. We hope you and your family had fun making your own liquid density tower. Don't forget to tell us how it went in the comments below and share with us what you learned with the Show Me How community. Thanks for watching. Hey, what other object would you pick if you were picking something different? A crayon. I, a crayon? <laughs> crayon. Oh, I wonder if a I crayon would float. I whoa, whoa. <laughs>
One reason I love crafting with kids is that it helps them with their hand-eye coordination, which is helpful for so many things like writing and playing sports. And plus, it's a great way for kids to practice counting in a fun way. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Thank you. Now that we're finished, let's let these dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. While we wait, let's sing Merry, Merry, Quite Contrary. That's a flower song. That's a great idea. Merry, Merry, Quite Contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. <laughs> great job. Now that the cartons are dry, I'll poke little holes in the bottom with scissors. Now I'll cut out each flower. And I'll pick out the stems. This part is a bit tough, so an adult really needs to do it. Six for me, and two, three, four, five, six for Carolyn. Okay, now we'll add the stems. Just make a little loop around your finger, like this, so that the pipe cleaner stays in place. And there you go, for you. <laughs> Beautiful. The last step is cutting petals into the cups. You can cut a lot and have little petals like this. Or if you cut just a few times, you get big petals like this or you can leave them as is. I want big petals. <laughs> you got it. Here are your scissors. And there you have it. Beautiful egg carton bouquets, perfect for decorating or gifts. Try this project at home and let us know how it goes by hashtagging your photos and videos with Mother Goose Club or by tagging us here on YouTube. And tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. Thanks for dropping by and happy crafting. <laughs> Olivia, that is perfect. Oh, I love your son. La 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 la. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as Teddy from the Mother Goose Club, but I'm also a mom to two children, Olivia and Riley. Did you know that this little ball of dough has superpowers? It's true. When your kids play with it, they build finger muscles and brain power. I'll show you how. <laughs> when little children knead, roll, poke, and cut Play-Doh, they're strengthening the tiny muscles in their hands which they'll need for writing. They're also releasing tension and developing hand-eye coordination. There you go, whoa, yes! What are you doing? What are you doing? Cooking. You're cooking! I love it! Perfect, Riley. What are you making? Looks like a pizza or peanut butter cookies. You're cutting it? I like that. When kids play with Play-Doh, there are no rules. So they can let their imaginations run wild and push the limits of their creativity. This type of activity forces kids to make a lot of decisions and figure things out on their own, which boosts their intelligence. Talking to your kids while they create is also a great way to build their vocabularies. Probably look, if you turn it around, it'll cut better for you. You see that? That's called a serrated edge, and it'll cut much better for you. See? <gasps> Yay, high five! I like it. Do you like it better when the moon is a crescent moon or the full moon? A uh, crescent moon. Yes, that's Olivia's favorite kind of moon. Okay. 
Mommy, mommy. Perfect, mommy, Olivia. Mommy, mommy, I love it. Mommy. It's perfect. When you turn it this way, what letter is it? C. That's right. It's also a letter C. And you can also call it an arc, Olivia. Pound. Pound? Pound. What are you doing? I said. He said pound. What are you doing? Look. That's a. Um, <gasps> it's a waffle. It's a waffle. Waffle! I told you this little ball of dough had superpowers. So add some Play-Doh to your playtime and show us how it goes. When you share your tips with us, you help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn. So please hashtag your videos and pictures with Mother Goose Club and let us know what works for you in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as Build brain development. And I said that line wrong. Mommy, look, he's gonna miss the colors. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Poke and cut Play Doh? <laughs> what did I say? So let their imaginations run. <laughs> Talking to ki your children as they create. <laughs> No, I'm not because I don't know where we're picking up. Can you sit down, Briley? So let them. When your kids play with it, they develop. When your kids play with it, they build. So add some play doh to your play doh time. <laughs>